Okay, everybody. Let's uh, tell you a tale about a big bullshit. Yesterday, I kind of went out to go see what my bottle collecting area would look like. And I happened to spot this in one of the deep areas. Goes up to like uh, almost my hip. And this was sitting on top. And I knew instantly it was a PT boat because of the way it was shaped and looked. But I didn't realize it was a PT-109. From what I can find on the internet, because these are such a pain to try and find on the internet. There's only like three pictures. They came in blue with silver. I'll put a picture up, but I'll still talk about it. Silver on the front, silver on the torpedoes. I think silver on a couple of the guns. Uh, but... We had an accident because the original holes in this was that one right there and this one up front. And I was trying to bring it back. And I had it back here, which I probably should have been using both hands and dropped what I had in my other hand. Uh, we did find some very nice bottles there. A couple of Pat D's, an embossed Sprite bottle, even though it's chipped on top, I still wanted it. Mountain Dew. Jack Daniels from the 60s. There's a Miller High Life bottle over there. I'll show y'all. I'm going to show you all this, but I want to talk about this in particular. Because we're going to do a couple videos of restoring this thing. But uh, this was completely filled with muck. An abnormally large amount of muck. I think this was buried and this last storm uncovered it because it was, that's literally that and that was the only two holes. Uh, but I dropped it and I caused this great big old crack. Now I can fix this. No problem. Uh, I don't want to keep it this original blue. What I'm going to do is paint it up like what they painted PT 109s in the South Pacific, which is a green and kind of a reddy orange kind of bottom. Uh, paint it as close to the thing as we can. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's a toy at the end of the day. We're not going to be 100% accurate. It's not a model. But it's a big old 25 inch uh, model or. Er, model. We have a 25 inch toy bow of PT 109 that we will be restoring and making a few videos. Let me set it down here. That way it doesn't fall. So then we found, and this is all from one spot except this one, we found some pretty clean uh, Coca Cola bottles. That one's from the 50s. And so is that one. Both of these were down a little ways from our PT boat. And they are Pat D's. And let's see if we can get that number in there good. That is from 1948. So... That's freaking cool. Uh, no, it's not that one. Here's our other one. Uh, Pat D. Let's see if we can get that in there real good. That's a 48 right there. But these Pat D's are hard to come by. And every single one that I found, except my 44 one, which I have... Hopefully sold. Uh, we'll find out. It's no biggie if I didn't. Uh, along with the other one. To a nice gentleman. Uh, this is a 51 Pat D. Oh, if we can, there we go. 51. Uh, then we've got a. 
Abbott's Bitters. It says Baltimore. C.W. Abbott's and Co. Now, I don't know how old this one is. I imagine it could be old. Uh, it's an F and a rectangle. Or not rectangle, octagon. Blah, blah, blah. What am I saying? And who knows? And then we found this cool Sprite bottle. There's a little bit of embosling on it. So, we are going to go back and grab some bottles that I had to make hard decisions on. And this is our Mila High Life bottle. And I'll show you the cans here in a second, too. Definitely an older one. How old? We'll figure that out. There was Diet Coke can, an older one, and then there was this. It's Mila High Life. It's Mila time. This can was in there. It's still got some dirt in it. Oh, pull tab top. It's cool to find these. There's one more down there, but it's too deep. Uh, there was a Miller Light can that unfortunately was just too rotted. I found this old. Ooh, we got to get in the sunlight. Bayer, come on. Bayer aspirin bottle. Unfortunately, it's broke, but I grabbed it because it was still cool. And. This piece was just kind of cool that I found, and I didn't want to leave them. Fresca or Fresco? Don't know. But when you see us next, we will be out getting the rest of the bottles with our green duffel bag and other stuff that we found. Uh. But... Hopefully, shouldn't be getting in the water this time. I'm going to bring these shoes just in case I have to. I'm going to be wearing my boots out there this time because I'm tired of cold feet. <laughs> but uh, really amazing day yesterday. And uh, ah, this one I got to clean up. But I think this is from the 60s. And we're missing a label. Let's get in the sunlight. There we go. But I think that's pretty cool. So that is all the really cool stuff that we found. We found two little bottles. I'm um, doing research on those, and I'll post those. Um, we're probably going to add another layer to our bottles here, to be fair. Uh, I don't know what it'll look like out there. I don't know if we'll find more. There's a couple of other really clean Coke bottles we're going to go and grab. Uh, those Pat D's, though, from 48. Oh, just clean. Clean as a whistle. The 51, I'll clean up, but those, when they're clean like that, it's so easy to clean them. Um, we did snag us another Mountain Dew bottle, probably from the 70s or 80s, I think. I gotta do more research on Mountain Dew bottles. So, we will see you all out there. Okay, everybody. So, we're kind of down here. Oh, pulled out a rolling rock beer bottle just now and though it's modern still good to get out of the river or creek I should say and whew, I'm gonna come back and make a trash sweep as much as I can fit in my green duffel bag as I'm going down which 
I think I won't get very far down the trail if we're just being honest with ourselves. But I really am trying to avoid getting in the water today. I very much would rather not. Uh, we came through here, hit through here. There were some good bottles. I believe we got some Coke bottles out of this, to tell you the truth. Um, the hard thing from spotting on the bank is, you know, you have a rock that can look like a bottle. And you're like, oh, that's a cool looking bottle. It's definitely worth it to get in there. And you get in there and you realize, oh no, that's a rock. I've gotten in here for nothing. And you try and spend just a little bit of time trying to figure out if there's something else down here. Wish I'd have been doing this earlier in the summer where I'd have had the time to come out here and just look, look, look all friggin' summer long. I did kind of get like towards the end of summer into doing this. Personally, I don't understand why. I like treasure hunting. I should have been doing this a while back. I mean, <sighs> sure, the bottles are kind of a hard thing to sell. And I mean, if anybody wants one, I'm not going to overcharge some exorbitant thing. It's like a dollar for the bottles with no labels. And I can work out deals on bottles that are expensive, like the Coke bottles with embossed things. They're not in like sparkling brand new condition. I could always work with that. But, you know, never feel like you have to buy something off of my channel. That's definitely not what my channel is about. What? in the world is that some kind of cooking pan looks like bucket maybe I'll have to bring my magnet back down through here uh, we're gonna get down here and uh, I'm keeping some stuff a surprise we did find couple of other cool things that I couldn't bring with me mainly because I forgot it I can't believe I forgot it it's something I've been wanting to find magnet fishing or treasure hunting for a while now and I found it so we will see you there once we get down to that end or unless I find something cool before then so all right, y'all. We'll see you in a little bit. So, I see a really cool bottle. I'm debating on if I want to get in to get it. It looks definitely older. This is where I found the two blue medicine bottles. <sighs> I wish they made grabbers that were like 10 feet long. <laughs> That would make my life right now so much easier. All right, y'all. I'm gonna sit and think about what to do real quick. Cause I mean, if this is just another liquor bottle, I'm gonna be kind of oof, but it doesn't look like it. The top of it looks older. And again, it's like, I don't know, I'm trying to look at it. It just could be anything at this point. If I get it, I get it. I'm going to sit here and think about it for a second. Okay. Like I was saying earlier, ends up being, might end up being nothing. Just a Jack Daniels bottle. It is Illinois Glass Company, but it's... Modern Illinois glass from 84, it looks like. Unless that's a three, let me. Nope, 84. We will take this with us. I'll probably end up getting rid of this. It looked like an older bottle. You don't see liquor bottles around here look like that. So that's why I was like, ah, but 
I'm not freezing too bad. I got my nice warm winter boots. And uh, what I will end up doing is letting this dry and pick it up on our way back and we'll head down the way. I did walk down a little bit just to see what was there. There ain't nothing. So we'll get down to our first spot, I think, unless there's, again, something cool. And we will show you all what we found yesterday. Okay. First bottle that we found was a Pepsi bottle, and we believe that's the year 56. Which that's will come with us. And then we found a great big old Coke bottle. And then we found this. Uh, which says New Soft on both sides and it's an Owens glass like I said I think it's a later Owens glass it says 19.9 so 9 something probably 69 or 79 maybe 89 even we'll throw all these in our bag and I think I spotted another one, so I'm trying to look for a nice big old long stick. See if I can push it and see what it is. All right. We'll get back to you. Okay, everybody. I don't know how I missed this before. It must have been buried. Uh, we found a cool Pepsi bottle. I'm talking to Mr. Mad Hatter now. That's probably from the 70s or 60s. It, it's cool to me. I like the glass bottles that have embossing on it, but check out the RC airplane. Let's see if we can pick this up. We can. Check that out. That's a cool, nice little river find. Oh, it even has sticker on the other side. Skyfly. We'll throw that in our duffel bag for sure. Take it home, clean it up. Not that we'll probably keep this. This will probably go in the trash as much as I wish it wouldn't. But uh, yeah, I like model airplanes too. <laughs> so, uh, we will, I'm probably going probably gonna to let this, we're probably going to let this sit and dry out some. Work some of this mud out and then uh, we'll come back for it. But that's a cool bitch and fine. All right, we'll get back to you. So this is one of the bottles I found. I'm pretty sure it's modern, but it's a ball bottle. I figure I'll take this with me. Yeah, I'll do some research on it. It says not to be refilled, no deposit, no return. But the ball kind of glass stuff I'm curious about. Uh, we'll set that right there. Somewhere around here. Is our surprise thing that I pulled out. And I've got to figure out where in the world did I pull it out from. I found it. It was further up. This is like one of the finds for me that I thought that I would find way, way sooner. little trap for trapping small animals. That's no good. Let's see if we can knock some. Uh, we can't knock nothing off of it. But that's been a magnet fishing find and a just treasure hunting find here in Tennessee. I thought I'd have found a lot more of. There's that one. We'll put that in our bag. And we're coming up to our other spot where we pulled all that other cool stuff from. Which means all of our other bottles should be up here. So, I'll just pause it and when I get up there I'll show you all the other bottles. Okay, 
I'll show you the bottles here in just a second. Those are bottles I found further down that way. When I got here, I found the two 1948 Cokes and a not Pat D Coca-Cola bottle right there. The Most of the other stuff was in this area. And I don't know if I see any more. I don't think that I do to warrant me going in there. As much as I'm like, yeah, let's go in there. It's It still is cold. Well, we're going to go look down there because there is one can that is still there. I would be interested in digging this place out in the summertime. I wish I could get the one can that's down there, but it's it's literally like almost chest high deep, knee standing. Uh, there's a sign right there. I'll have to bring my magnet back here also. And, oh, there's the old Miller Lite can. I tossed it up here and it broke apart on me. We're going to see if we can empty that out. There's an old bottle over there. I found this next to the old, to the boat. I had set it up here because I wanted to look and see if there isn't stuff still in this. And it's just chunked up into ice now. I doubt there was. It was open when I found it. Yeah. Mm. Oh. We will be taking this with us. Just an old fishing box. Let's look at these bottles now. We got it. Probably some modern ones are in here, like this one. It's an Illinois glass one. That's probably from, what does that say? 62, is that probably what that one's from? 62, I found this one. And might be a 56 or a 49. One of those is the mold number. Let's see. One Coke. Not a Pat D. That's patent office. Let's see if we can find the age. Okay. So, 5371. On that one, what was it on this one? Fifty eight sixty four and Patent Office fifty seven. This one. It's a little dirty. Patent office, okay. So where are your numbers? Fifty four or sixty four on this one. Can't tell. Then we got a knee-high bottle, Sprite bottle, uh, this bottle, uh, 
that bottle. Is that the one I just looked at? Yeah. Say a 54 for that Coke bottle. Um, this one, which I haven't seen any other ones of those, so that'll definitely come back with us. And we'll see if there's a label ghost print on there still. Figure out what that is. And a couple of liquor bottles. Different companies. Okay. So we're going to get all this loaded up. And then we're going to head down to the other part where I found some bottles. And I had to leave my drink. And I'm, I was coming back. There's no me leaving this stuff. So we get all this stuff put up. And we will get on our merry way. Unless I see something else. Which I really don't. Alright y'all. Oh. Let me walk over there. See if I can show y'all that can. Maybe somebody in the comments can tell me what it is. Because I can't see it through the water. Myself good enough to recognize a brand or something. Yeah. Let's see if we can get right. Oh no. I think the leaves covered it up. I hope not. Oh no. So, let me see. Oh, zoom in, please. That right there, anybody recognize that can? It's definitely an older one. Oh no. You all see what that is? That's a soda bottle. A Coca-Cola. Is there not like a way if I could get around? I guess I could cross that. Um, but you see how deep it gets? Like, it's too deep right here. It's literally chest deep. And scary, to tell you the truth. I'm going to see if I can make my way across to get that Coke bottle. And uh, maybe there might be a stick long enough to get that. Move it into shallower water. I'd like to. It's a cool can. All right. Let me come up with a plan and we will get back to y'all. All righty, y'all. That was a Pat D. Pat D, 49. So it's a 49 bottle. Look how clean it is. Woohoo. And we were able to get this can up. Country Time Lemonade Flavor. General Foods. That's a cool can. We'll definitely take that with us. Some of these cans might be from the 80s. If I have my thinking correct. So we'll get all our bottles here put up. And we'll get on to the next spot where we got bottles. Alrighty y'all. Okay. So here's our Royal Crown bottle. We've actually got some of the label still on there, which is awesome. <laughs> I haven't found one of these with even an inkling of an label to find that. That's pretty cool. There's another one right there. We've got another beer bottle right there. Liquor bottle. Liquor bottle. We're going to toss these all up there. And... I believe those are Duraglass 52s. Chuck that little beer bottle up there. One of these. 
I believe this one, yeah, is a brown ball glass alcohol bottle. All right. There's that one. And this one was... I don't know what this one was, but it's coming with us. This is where I found these two, the two little bottles. So I kind of want to give this area a nice close look. Look right there. Let's see if that's one whole thing. Let's take a stick though. Oh, dum, 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 dum. Will that reach? Maybe. Nope, that's a broken piece. Shame. I'm just trying to take my time to make sure I haven't missed a little bottle or something. Because that would be a damn right shame. And uh, trying to come out here at different times of the day. Kind of see when I have the best light for this area. So I can see. And uh, we're going to go down to the other spot where we found our really old bottles. It's just I got to see something actually worth it to go in. Uh, you know, that being a Pat D Coca-Cola bottle, that's worth it to me. It's an older one. Not that the other ones aren't, but the other ones are easily gettable or were right there while I was getting something else. Uh... So it's just a thing of a, I try to be thorough. You know, one day I'm going to organize a big old cleanup for this whole trail. And we're going to have a bunch of people walk down and we're going to pick up every bit of trash on this trail. New and old. Uh, eventually I'm going to come out here and get some of the trash I know I put on the bank. It's just a matter of getting out here. And doing it. When I'm not super busy, because we're we're trying to do a million things at once at my house, which ain't a bad thing, no at all. And I don't see anything else. I'm gonna pause it and look, not be so scared of holding my phone next to the water, and I'm gonna see if I see or find anything else. All right, y'all, we'll be back. Okay, everybody. This is all the bottles we have found in the past three days. Well, really two. I only went out there today to grab our Pepsi bottle, the airplane, and the Jack Daniels bottle, which I didn't end up finding, which sucks. Uh, we have probably found... Probably about 40 bottles, 40 bottles, 38 bottles, somewhere in there. Uh, I found this air pump today. It was just sitting in there in the woods. We have our airplane, which unfortunately will be going in the trash. There's no saving that. And we have our PT boat, which we'll be restoring here soon. Our tackle box, which we found, which will also be going into the trash. Uh... I'll probably clean these in a live stream and uh, our end of the month live stream and I mean we found a lot of Pat D Coca-Colas those all aren't all Pat D's I think we found four um, let's see Pat D Pat D, Pat D. <laughs> Sounds like I'm saying Patty. Patent office. Pat D. All right. 
patent office, patent office. Patent office, okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven non pat D Coke bottles from the 50s, probably up to the 60s, and then four Pat D's, two Sprite bottles, one with an embossed label. Here's a Dr. Pepper that I had filmed off the uh, screen. And a little Jägermeister. It's a modern bottle, I'm pretty sure. And then we found a Max Factor Hollywood jar. And then a fleecy white bleach bottle that I, the uh, camera had run out of battery. And uh, that new soft bottle is from like the 50s. And uh, I'll have more information on all of these on the end of the month live stream. So... If y'all liked and enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, comment if you want to, but you don't have to, but it sure makes my day, and we will see you all in the next one. Hope you're doing well wherever you are. Bye.